You're watching Soul Sisters on Pure Soul, powered by Isaac Hayes on Dash Radio. Let me ask you something. When yeah. did you feel like, I think I made it? Have you gotten there yet? No. Really? Like, absolutely not. No. Even after how successful no. the Steve Harvey show like, was? Yeah, yeah like, when it, did, like, that's when, the so Steve Harvey first, show. Yeah, but Steve still, Harvey like, made it. But did you feel like your first check? Like, when was the, the okay, first time yeah. you got that check? Okay. It was like, oh. I'll say the first time that I felt the moment of, oh, my God, I'm doing, I'm doing it. Doing like, it. it's happening. I was on the Steve Harvey show, mm-hmm. and it was, like, very new um, in the season for me. Mm-hmm. And the makeup people were fixing something, and the wardrobe was fixing something, and they were just, like, fixing. All over. Right, yeah. And I was like, oh, my God, you guys, just stop one second. I was like, I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> yeah. And I had that moment, yeah. and I just started crying. I was like, I can't believe I'm mm-hmm. living the dream. Like, yeah. all those auditions That's and all those no's yeah. and all that. It's like, oh, my God, and I'm in it right now, and you guys are fixing, fixing, fixing on me. me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys yeah. are fixing on me. So I did have that moment. Okay, yeah. And had it with all the girls that's around great. me yeah, yeah that's that's yeah. good well you have such a such a huge support system with your girlfriends and I you do. have a lot of actresses that you're friends yeah. with and yeah y'all support each other so yes. much and a lot that you do yeah sure i think it's very important it is. yeah um you know like you were saying like how we beat ourselves up enough mm-hmm. with the guilt and the this and the that we do it enough to ourselves it it's I couldn't imagine not having my girlfriend Mm -hmm. Yeah, to counter that. Because all that stuff that we do, it's just not real. It's just, and we still do it. But we still do it. We know better. We we know better. We do know better. But we we still still fall into Mm -hmm. it every once in a while. (laughs) So it's nice to have your girlfriends who understand it. Mm -hmm. Because your men, they don't understand it. They don't even get, what the hell are you talking about? Right, right. But your girlfriends, they get it. So it's not like they're looking at you like you're crazy. Right. Mm-hmm. They're feeding the other side to get you out of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. then in a minute, you're going to be doing it for them, too. Correct. Yep. So yep. It, that's the beautiful thing about having girlfriends. And I'm definitely an advocate for having yeah. girlfriends. Yes. I don't yes. understand women that say, that, I don't get along with girls. Yeah, you know, uh, women no. don't like me. And da, 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 da. I'm like, mm, there's some you. fixing that needs you. to happen. You, ma'am, are the you problem. Need the you yeah. need the woosah. You need the woosah. Do we need to go talk? Yeah. <laughs> you don't know how many times I've said that to other <laughs> female. When they say, I'll be like, mm. We should talk. Yeah, we should talk. Because yeah. I just, yeah. Yeah, it's nothing like your girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. So tell us about what you got coming up <laughs> next. So, okay, so well, that I movie is coming, coming out. up. So y'all got to make sure y'all um, go see you that You guys sure. got to make sure you watch TV One this mm-hmm. Sunday, 7 o'clock, Merry Wishmas. Um, and I am editing a movie that I directed for BET. Uh, it's called Angrily Ever After. Ooh. Wow. Um, it'll be out, I think they said July okay. next year. It's the summer. It's a, a romantic comedy. It's um, very fun. It's a beautiful movie. Um, I'm in the editing process, so I'm mm-hmm. seeing all the shots, mm-hmm, and I'm just mm-hmm. so in love with the movie. I'm so I can't wait for you guys to see it. <laughs> I love to oh, see you guys. She has a huge love with you. I know she has a huge smile on her face. Like, yeah. Yeah. You guys are going to love it. <laughs> um, and I am prepping at the same time to leave, to go back to D.C. to direct another movie, a Christmas movie. Oh, really? Um, for BET. So that's this going to come out getting. next Christmas. It's going to come out next Christmas. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. You got a lot going on. It is a lot going on. That's I'm great. excited. And I know you got some acting stuff going on in the middle of that. Yeah, well, not I'm debating about an acting project. Another mm-hmm. thing that we're producing and I'm just okay. debating if I'm going to direct it or am I going to act in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's this is the beauty of the moment that we're in. Yeah. Is that I, that's my debate. Yeah. yeah. Am I going to act options. in it or am I going to direct it? You got options, yeah. honey. That's that's a amazing. blessing. Mm-hmm. That's a blessing. So but grateful. you put in the work so, so you know, it's just blessings coming back. Now, is Kaz in... California? No, Cass is here. She's here. Okay. Cass is here. Okay. All yeah, right. I don't know why I was me. thinking she was in 
I thought nah. y'all had flip flop, but nope. She's here. She's okay. been here the whole time. All right. Our plan when we first uh, started the company was because we started it as a LA based um, production okay. company, mm-hmm. and okay. the plan was for her to move to LA. Uh, but what hap- what had happened uh, was. Uh, <laughs> I met this man. Uh, okay, he was like, "I'm gonna need you to come to Atlanta." Uh, and no, he was here. he was based here in Atlanta, Ooh. and oh, I met him. Okay. And I was like, uh, "Can you come?" Cause uh, I'm just gonna go on to Atlanta. I'm just gonna yeah. move to Atlanta, and so I did. So I've been here. That's awesome. That's, oh, that worked out good. It did work out good, and so yeah. we moved our company here. Y'all did um, a film together, didn't you? <laughs> you and your husband, didn't y'all do? Something um, together? Yeah, we've done a couple of things together. Okay. Um, one of the film shorts that I've been shooting are us. Okay. In it, um, okay. called the Lions Crumbs. Mm-hmm. Um, and can we see those somewhere? Not you yet. can. You can see the to... first one on. Okay. It's on Amazon Prime okay, nice. right now. Oh, nice. nice. It's called the Lions Crumbs. It's okay. A short film. So I'm just. I just finished editing the second one. Okay. So it'll be up shortly. But the first one is up. Nice. It's really funny. Ooh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I like to laugh. Uh, yeah, you, it's one you, of the best things in the world to do. That you love what you do. You yeah, know what I, I mean? Do. Like you Thank haven't you. got caught up in the rut of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, Understanding you, I think the blessing. We all have our our moments, mm-hmm. and I'm I'm just in a really blessed. That's great moment, and I'm gonna keep the moment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. going. Hold on to it as it's, long as you yeah, can. Yeah, it's not. This moment is not leaving. Yes. Yeah, it's only up That's from good here. Stuff. Yeah, absolutely. It's only up. Absolutely. Well, we got some other stuff that you're working on. We can't talk about yes. just yet. But yes, yes, yes. Some yes, good yes, stuff. Yes, Y'all are here yes. about it soon. Yes. Soon, soon. Something and another very thing I'm soon. very <laughs> excited about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's see. What 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 else can we ask you? We're gonna ask you something, something that doesn't even have anything to do with acting. Uh oh. We're gonna ask you a, a music question. Okay. Uh oh. I'm not scared. Uh-huh. This is off the top of her head because oh, yeah. I don't know what's coming. Because no, yeah, you guys are music my, babies. Yeah, well, I'm a music baby, but I ain't into music. <laughs> <laughs> but you've been around it all your life. <laughs> she's been around it, but Keisha she's... is the music lady and Heather, if she was here, but uh, no. So, of course, you know, Keisha's mom is Millie Jackson. Yep. My dad was James Brown mm-hmm. and, and Heather's dad was uh, Isaac Hayes. So, tell us a little bit about when you grew up, what mm-hmm. kind of music you were listening to? Um, we listened to my mom played a lot of, let's see, Minnie Rippleton, mm-hmm. uh, Stevie Wonder, mm-hmm. um, Roberta Flack, uh, Smokey Robinson, oh, The Whispers. The Whispers, yes. Uh, uh, those are the ones that come to the top of my head. Mm-hmm. Um, Marvin Gaye. Mm-hmm. All the good ones. Yeah. 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 Any favorite artists? I love Stevie Wonder. I'm a Stevie Don't Wonder we fanatic. All? Fanatic. <laughs> yeah. Fanatic. Yeah. Yeah. I love him. It's hard not to be. Yeah. Yeah. His music, his music, uh, it makes you happy. It makes, I don't know, it just makes you love. It does. And not, not like being in love. Mm. It makes you like love. 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 Yeah. yeah. Love people, love yeah. yourself, love music. Like, yeah. His music does that. Yeah. It makes you think. Do we do we get to it's hear good. Stevie Wonder in some of your films? Girl, we can't afford it. What you talking about? <laughs> I was like, child, but, but but trying I said to, I'm trying moving to up. What? No. I, I'm going to get there. I was about to say, isn't music usually like the most expensive Yeah. Part? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Y'all know that. Everybody's trying to pay that out. Yeah, Oh, I man. know for sure. This little television local show that I did with Comcast, I was trying to get one of my dad's songs. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I can't. Yeah, we not doing that. The budget don't That's don't crazy, that. right? You it's, can't even get your dad's song. It's like, it's not, it's your dad. I mean, it's I like, can get it. If it's I like want to pay it, they not gonna give it to me for free. Well, actually, it wasn't his song because "Prisoner of Love" oh. isn't his song. Oh, okay. Someone else wrote it. See, that's always the key. That's always the catch. Would you catch. have been able to get it? I would have been able to get so it. Like your dad, that's what your I dad wrote it, created about. it, yeah. everything. You couldn't just be like, "Well, well, I can get it, but I'm we still, it. but uh, I mean, we still got pay for it." Mm. Can't you pay for Girl, it on credit though? Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. pay y'all later. Like, like, Girl, I, I would, would just use do it, it and say sue me. Yeah, I would just yeah. do it. I would <laughs> use it, sue me. Right. right. But this one, yeah, I had a had to go through 
the hoops, and I was like, yeah, I'm not doing it. So I understand. Yeah, the yeah the music, yeah. Mm, that's a different kind but, of industry. But I mean, it's, you know, it's people be putting out some good music. They be wanting their money for their music. As they should. Yeah. yeah. As they should. Well, it was great. Thank you so much. For coming on. Are we finished? Yeah. Oh, okay. I love you. Yeah. Thank you. So fast, it, it did. <laughs> it went so fast. So y'all make sure y'all see Mary Wishmas yes. coming out December the second on TV One. We uh, Miss Terry will be the director, yes. and of course, it was produced by Tamala and David Mann. So. We definitely got to support and see yes, this film. Yes, please support. And all please the support. And all you're going to enjoy films. it. Oh, I know we will. You're going to enjoy it. I, I know. And we want you to hang around a little bit. Okay. Because we have another guest coming in, and her name is Pinky Cole. And oh, she I has, already met her. You guys got to catch has, up. Look. I know. Honey, slutty vegan. Slutty honey, vegan. You need I've to already, try it. already did. You she tried it already? I did. Already I did. Tried I didn't wait for you guys. Oh, and she I did. didn't even wait for us. It's so she was good. <laughs> I was like, brother, you got a fork. So you ate I need to eat some of this food. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, she said she brought one, an extra one for me. Okay. It's good. All right. And well, it's very good. So well, good. you guys are going to enjoy it. Well, you definitely, if you have time, stick around and we'll we'll talk more about that. It's and, very um, good. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, let me just tell you, our listeners, you, th- that slutty vegan <laughs> That you need to get with it. Uh, I mean, first of all, anybody that calls themselves slutty vegan, honey, I want to be a part I of that. Know yeah, you. I wanna, yes, I want to be a part of it just because the, the name. Are but, you vegan? No, I'm not. Okay, but, are you vegetarian? Nope. Okay, but I have, um, but I, I don't mind eating right. that way. Like, okay. I'm gonna eat some meat too, but yeah. I don't mind eating mm-hmm. a bean burger or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah, and what she brought for y'all, and see, to a meat burgers, eater, that's like the ultimate compliment so to eat good. vegan food. If you're you don't a meat understand, eater, like, I can't wait for y'all to buy yeah. it. It's very good. I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm so, really y'all is. need to get with the slutty vegan. Okay. It's very good. Well, again, that's thank you saying. so much, Terry, for coming in. <laughs> thank and you, ladies. Speaking with us and hopefully she'll stick around and you'll hear more from Terry a little bit later. Right now, we're going to go out with Whitney Houston and I'm Every Woman. Yay! You're watching Soul Sisters on Pure Soul, powered by Isaac Hayes on Dash Radio.